I'm here with Thomas Doran, Cheshire Ghost Riders, no logo. Uh, so how's your season been so far? Yeah, I've got um, three national wins so far, so hoping to add to that. Um, only only one slide out so far, and I'm working up the ranks on the 20th, which is an improvement over last year. So. So what are your plans for the rest of the season now we're just after midway? Well, I'm hoping to pick up the Cruiser national title. Um, definitely go for the British Champs title as well. And then just work my way up on the 20 and see where I can finish overall. And um, then figure out if I'll be doing junior men next year or what the plans are after that. I don't know, we'll see. Final question, what's one piece of advice or tip that you would give to a younger or less experienced rider? I would say if you're going to start taking the training like properly seriously, then definitely work on your sleep because that will improve every aspect of your riding and training if you have that much more energy in the day to complete it. Cheers, Tom. It's very important, Andy. I'm, very important. I'm doing social posts. Andy, very important. He's the living and breathing dragon of the club. He's the, he's the ultimate B. Of course, he's rubbish. Yeah. He's the ultimate B. The Queen B, if you say. Queen B. Yeah. Knights of 12 year old cruisers are about the first day final of round number seven of the Lloyds Bank BMX National Series 2024. The European finalists are going at it. Griffin leads it out. He was looking like Arnold led it, but it was all about Griffin's moving to number one. Arnold throws it back under in turn two. Arnold leads it. Griffin, Cooper, two or three. Who's in four? That's going to be better. Than oh, Griffin is the day. Oliver Arnold, he's going to pick up this win of round number seven in the 92-12 year old cruisers. Savvy Fox Cooper in there for two, and that's going to be Benedict Marco in three. 13 to 14, you're off for a second final. Put your hands. 
30 and 14 year old cruisers hit the track. Classy's had a great gate heading for the turn. Who's that there with him looking like Kitson on the inside? Carty leads it, your national champion from last year. Kitson's in there behind him. Eric Woodswitz, he's in there in three. Here comes Newman Hindley on the inside looking to make the top three happen. And he's going to stick it underneath to the ground, make it stick. So it is going to be Carty, Kitson. Here comes McSwitty on the apex looking for a top two spot. Last turn action, McCrum's in there in five. Battling with Hindley. Here comes Kitson down the final straight. He's pumped his way from two to one. He's going to be your race winner. Eric McSweetie took two on the line, that shuffle cocky back to three. 15, 16 year old cruisers. Final six hits the track, the 15, 16 cruisers are a go. Stan Palmer's got, not quite got in the best game, so it is Duran and Milan, the two Thomases, one and two. The template went underneath the line in the, in the corner, and that is Chapman, he's worked his way up to about four hearts in five. JT, JT or Simpson Davies is in there in three, so it is Thomas Duran, Thomas Milan, JT or Simpson Davies, one, two, three. Chapman's in there in four, last turn action, it's all about Thomas Duran out front, he's going to take this one down to the strike. Who's in there with him? Milan's for two, and that's going to be David in three. This is... 30 to 39 year old cruisers are ago. Who's going to be 50 quid richer? Looking like Jack Hudson's been shot out of the pan of Palmer on the inside. Palmer leads it. Hudson in there in two. Livingston's in three. That looks like Popel in four. Who's picking up five and six? Alan Tans is on the inside into the turn. Palmer then the original. Long brows hit the deck in the second corner. It is Palmer, Hudson, Popel, Livingston. They are queuing up like Greg's on a Friday afternoon. Popel's working his way around Hudson down the Final street is going to be Palmer. Both all in that order. Hudson for three. Put your hands together for Andy. All right, 40 to 44, Cruiser heading down the hill. Kingsley Mears, the local guy in the middle. Hodlings on the inside as they head towards turn number one. That is Matthew Eaton working his way to two. The elbows are flying as they go in and out of the turn. Craig Corley in the in five. Dylan Dixon in about seven at the moment. Andy McCoy pushing hard as well. But it's all about Kingsley Mears. Pro start out in front on his home track. In and out of the turn. He's got this one in the back. Eden in there in two, Andy Gross for the three, Audley for the four, Craig Corbett for five. 45 foot on your old cruisers into the turn, looking on Merrin's on the inside, he's going to lead this one out. Forty-five, forty-nine year old cruisers hit the track, headed for turn number one. Marco's been shot out of the cannon. Watson's not done yet, though, into the corner. Watson, Marco, one and two. Barnard's in there in three, that is mean in four. Who's picking up five? Got to be Neil Harbour for sorted race gear. The two stay strong CK guys are in three and four at the moment, but it's all about Watson. Out front, BMX with her photography, leading it into the turn. Here comes Barnard underneath Marco, he makes his sting. Barnard then takes over that two spot down the last straight it's going to be Fraser Watson your race winner Barnard Marco two and three 50 to 54 crews for the B final here we go riders out the gate and round that first 50 to 54 cruiser Ben Tussles the orange because he's just had the squeeze coming out of that gate into the turn we go Stephen Hassel, Darren O'Brien one and two that looks like Kev Sykes in there in three Pete Butler in four Bentley in there in six Julian Allen's turn bar and he's way into seven oh Darren O'Brien down in a heap Benters is in there in six, having a go for five, possibly even four. Who's going to get it as a life? It's going to be Hassel, Sykes, Butler. You want two and three.
1729 cruise and this has been an absolute banger of a class and Ned Penny's come up on, on clip as they head into the turn Brooks is leading it through Daniel Wilson in there in two green in three Lewis Fletcher Deutsch the old pole working his way underneath into that top three spot Arnest on, on the outside well, it's Brooks grab racing into the final corner and out we go he's clubbing Daniel Wilson chasing him to the line Brooks is going to get it Brooks Wilson Fletcher green in the hole the 30, 16 year old girls cruiser hits the track and out of the first turn. Armour leads it out. That's Annalise Kaplan is chasing her on through. Alexis McCartney in there in a podium spot as they go in and back out of that second corner. And your Matt and Alonso's in there inside that top four. Headed for the final turn though. It's all about Harmer out front on the three plate in that NSR Foundation jersey. She's going to pick up this win down the final straight but not in four times. And it did to say Corpus is going to nick it with a last minute ditch at the line. Armour for two. What a last straight that was from Annalise Cabot Carpenter. These are ladies are going crazy as they head down the hill. SJ and Michelle Stoppel heading to the turn. Michelle gets a nose out in from SJ and in there in two. Kim Batsford in three. Sav Carver going through in four. Cassie Harden in five. Pendleton in six. Stitch in seven. Chalice in eight. As they head towards the final turn, Michelle Stoppel ice bikes. Got her nose in front as they came in and out of the turn. The first one, she's going to hold it to the line. SJN is chasing her to the strike. She's going to have to settle for two. Kim Batsford rounding out the top three. Seven year old B final hit. 30 Rocky Sarah go the six and unders are bringing the thunder Headed for two number one Oliver Bridal's on the inside he's getting busy as they head into the turn Bridal leads it out Jamir has threaded the needle and gone from three to two in the first corner YouTube sensation Shelby Ace is in there in about three looking up the inside of Jamir as they enter turn two and he's made his stick so it is Bridal Yates Jamira one two three looking like Benji Ross Foster's in four, Seth Goostry's in there in five, Henry Dodds in six, Charlie Stace in seven, and Charlie Gorn in eight. Last straight action then, it's all about Bridal out front. This kid is on fire, he's going to take a six and under win. Shelby eight for two, Benji Ross Foster has muscled his way through to a podium finish. Seven year olds up next, we have got. It's go, go, go for the seven-year-olds heading down the hill. Let's have a look. He's going to lead it into the turn. Looks like Rudy Pleasant's Ford is in there. My little mate Oscar out the back. In there with three. One, two, three, four. Going down in the turn. Albie Blight, Arlo Payne, Roman Burfield. All down in a heap in turn number one. And one of the riders from Exeter as well. So let's have a look who's going to lead it into the corner. Joseph Clayton out in front. Rudy Pleasant's going in two. Oscar rather fast. He's looking like he's going to hit the podium in three. I dread to think what Dad's promised him for that one. As they head to the line. Clayton Pleasant's going rather fast. That's your one, two, three. Seven year old girls hitting their first straight. They're not only seven, some of them are only five as they head towards turn number one. Mabel Pine, Maggie Devine, all of you is one, two, and three. Oh, Atty McGoldrick throws it under for a top five. She's chasing down Abigail heading towards turn number two. But out in front on the zero one, the British champion. Mabel Pine looking good in this one. All the Jewish in two. Maggie Devine in three. Here comes Abigail heading. Now Hattie's under pressure from the 184. And that belongs to Matilda Hewitt. Hewitt chasing the 
Eric Pine's going to get it. He's going to go Pine. Jewish, Divide, Henny, Patsy McGoldrick with the top nine. Wow, wow, wow. Eight-year-old boys. The eight-year-old A final is go. Ethan the Great White had a great game, but he ran into a few elbows from Perebni and Sullivan. Sullivan leads it into the town. Sullivan, Perebni, White, one, two, three. Japanos has worked his way into four last ball. In there in five, 86. Looking like Hill in seven and to Waldini. In and out of turn number two. Check him out. Crucial game. Oh, front your British champion, Henry Sullivan. I do not think this kid has dropped a lot all season a long so far and he does not want to start now in and out of the final turn Henry Sullivan is going to take the eight year old final down to the stripe and take Brebby for two Ethan the Great White under pressure from Zapanos that was your top four eight year old girl. Final 43, the eight year old girls heading down the straight. Looking like there's a great start from Millar on the inside. Riding for Moto 1365. Millar leading out, mixed picture in there in two. On the 889, that's Ella Grant chasing down your British champion, Megan Keller. Where is she? She's in there in about four of a minute. Chasing down Bradford Fandis Finest. That is Maisie Dyson on the 735. So it's Millar, Grant, Dyson, that's your podium as it stands, Keller's in there in four, that is Evie Hume in there, sorry, Ellie Robertson in five, Snell's in six, and Hume in there in seven, last trade action, it is going to be, Phoebe Millar's going to take the win, who's getting the two, Ella Grant for the two spot, Mings and Dyson rounds out your podium, and your old boys up next, Seth Kachari, Jack Bell. Right then, your old boys heading down the hill, Ethan Short in the burning, and that's the racing right there in the middle as they head towards turn number one. Charlie Dalton is the man out in front, he's going to get the whole shot. He's in there in one, Ethan Short two, Rex four, three. We are looking at Jesse Rose battling away there with Thomas Giles from North East DMX. As they go into the turn, Seth Kachari's got a bit of work to do, but look, he's worked his way in front, Ethan Shaw, Birmingham National Racing into the final turn we go, he's got this one, Dowson for two, Ford for three, Belton for four, looks like one of the North East riders is going to pick up a five, but it's Ethan Shaw taking the win. Right, first of the whole shots for the A final. Nine year old girls leaving the gate, there's a whole shot award, who's going to get it? Betsy Wills has got her nose out in front at the moment, Holly Bishop in there as well, Betsy Wills, 50 quid better off, she wins the Manchester BMS Club whole shot award, Lawrence Dyson in there in four, but look who's chasing Betty down to that turn, it is Holly Bishop from the Halo Wheel squad, she's in there in two, who's got the three, looks like the A04 and that belongs to Magia Olivia College out of Ireland. She's going to get that uh, third position for the win and the 50 quid whole shot award to Betty Wills. Ten year old boys, A final, all on the gate. We've got Seb Hewitt, Preston Newmarsh Powell, Teddy Jones. Here we go then, the 10 year old are go, headed for turn number one, Hem Hill's had a great start, he's got Anderson right here with him into the turn, Anderson throws it under and he leads a race, Anderson, Hem Hill, now looks like Joey Tompkins working his way onto the podium, as they, as they head into turn number two, Munro's in there in about four, in and out of the second corner, it's all about the national number four from last year, Jacob Anderson, absolute leads this one through, Hem Hill's not done yet, jumps his way around the outside of Tompkins into the final corner. Anderson, Hemhill, one and two. Who's going to get three? It's going to be tied on line between Tompkins and Monroe. That one was close and one for the transponders of terror. Ten year old girl. Here we go, then the 10 year old girl, someone's about to be 50 quid richer. 
courtesy of our sponsors for today's whole shot awards and it looks like the two play all oh, that one was close i'm not calling it trains even one and two is the exit to number one who's picking up three it looks like grace hudak on the east seven place into the turn they go the front three are trying to separate a gap who's picking up the four looking like that could be holly richardson on the eighth place but it's all about trixie trains Blue and bicycle motocross, she leads this one through. Egan under pressure from Hudak down the final string. She's gonna hang on to the two spot. Hudak for three more tricks and trades. Your 10 year old girls winner. It's too close to call that. Somebody can look at the recording of that one. The 11 year old boys are go, Bibby on the inside, Rollins in the middle, Jack Devine trying to get involved as well as they go into the turn, James Bibby, Archie Bell nearly running to the back of Leo Rollins, did well to avoid him, Devine working his way down the inside now, but he's still the pro star rider, Bibby, but look who's got underneath him, Leo Rollins with a move straight out of the textbook, is he going to be able to hold it off into the final turn, Bibby for Bibby so close, Rollins is going to take it, who's going to get the two, looks like it's going to be Itai Jamira, but James Bibby, so unlucky, couldn't make it move, make the move stick. And the new old girls all go heading down the hill. Iris Tyler, Elizabeth Lawler pull up closest to the first hit. Here comes Grace Gerard as well. But it looks like Hyder picking it up. Elizabeth's in there in two. Grace in three. Lauren Keller's getting squeezed. Seven prep jump right in the middle. And uh, out of uh, absolute bicycle mine across, we've got uh, Elsie Blight as well. But pure bicycles on the E3. Iris Hyder in and out of the turn. She's going to take the win in the 11 year old girls. Elizabeth Lola Pills on an absolute flyer for two. Grace Gerard for three, and I think Sarah Pritchard might have rounded out the top four. 12 year old boys lining up. Twelve year old boys hit the track, Donald Adelaide number one, headed for the turn, Joe Douglas has been shot out of the pan, Adelaide eh? but he's only got so far across, who's going to lead it out, Donald, Miller, Brooks Martin, that's your top three as he stands, Top Palmer is in there in four, headed into turn number two, who's queuing up behind him, Ethan Harrell's in there, looking like he wants to pick up a top four spot as well, Rogers is trying to fight his way back into the pack, but check out your European number three, BMX hard job call, Harry Donald's going to take the 12 year old boys, Miller, Martin, two and three, tight on the line for four. <laughs> Twelve-year-old girls hit the track. Eaton's in lane one. Looking on Warren's trying to close the door as he head for the turn. Who's going to get it into the corner? Warren leads it out. What a first race he's had. Warren, Eaton. That looks like it could be Ward in there in three. Who's in four? That's got to be Kiss heading into turn two. Eaton isn't done yet. She's hunting down Warren like she's prey to a predator. Headed for the final turn. Eaton on the outside. Looking for a high level on Warren. Last straight action, who's going to get this one? Ruby Warren, looking like she's going to hang on to it. What a result that is. And he took the two, tight on the line for three. Right, whole shot of what I think that was really... Right, 50 quid off the grabs as these boys come down the hill. Who's going to be the first to the first turn? Elvis Lawrence in the middle. Here comes Grubby taking the whole job. Grubby's 50 quid. Richard Chuchi. Tyres in there in two. Toby Lynch in three. Shaw's in there in four. Where is Elvis Lawrence? He's in there in five. Moves being made in the corner. Todd Smith Lovin getting shuffled back with Noah Buttery. But he's Grubby into the final turn with Tyres. Guppy, tyres, drag race down the final straight. Who's going to get in the line? Guppy for absolute bicycle monocross takes the win. Tyres link Shaw. That was your one, two, three, and four.
Hunt for Quinn, Hunt for grabs in this one. Who's going to be the first to the first turn? Katie Miller looking good in the minute. In and out we go. Oh, it was another close one. Don't want to say he took it. It was either Miller or Rowe. Couldn't work it out. In and out the turn we go. We don't know who's going to get the 100 quid. It was that close. But Katie Miller probably won't want the money. She'll want the win. Isabella Rowe, that is Shalaya Patel in there in three. Rin Serafina Jolino in four. But Katie Miller takes it at the line. She wins 13 girls. Somebody else can organise it on the money. 14 year old. Here we go then, the 14 year old girls are headed for turn number one. Amelia Rowe, oh, it is the deck. Wow, 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 elbow from Watson down the first straight as she tumbled down the back side of the jump. Watson brought into turn number two, it's going to be Brown around the outside, she's your new race leader. The absolute European number four leads it out, Watson's into the 13th plate in there is three, that is Lottie McFarlane with the six of eight arrived. In there in four, in the line of the final turn and down this final straight, it is going to be Lottie Brown, your race winner, Amy Watson takes the two. Put your hands together for Amelia Revenue, ladies and gents. They're age 15 and live in the BMX dream as they come down the hill. Cody Coker, Eli Smith into the turn one and two. Coker, Smith, Evelyn's dived underneath. That looks like Lucas Webster in there in that fourth spot. Looks like two riders exiting the wrong side, including Jack Bailey. But out in front, Cody Coker flew a mighty come on across. Noah Evelyn in two. Eli Smith in there in three. Looks like Pope is going to get it at the strike. Coke and Emily Smith. One, two, and three. Webster in four. Would you? Um. 15 year old girl. Fifteen-year-old girls, this has been an absolute banger of a class and it continues to impress. Look how close they are going into the first turn. Who's going to pick up the whole shot? That was Sophie Albert, I think, in there in one of the moments. Doing it for crucial. Megan Royce, Amina Ashman, Ruby Moore. Here comes Lexi Waite, working her way around the outside. She doesn't know the meaning of giving up, but out in front of the minute, doing it for crucial is Sophie Albert. She's leaving the door open for Megan Roy into the final corner. Shuts it again with a bit of a clue. But she comes down the final straight. Elwood, Roy, Ashman. Elwood's going to get the win. Sophie Elwood for crucial. Takes the national win in the 15 goals. The 14 year Fourteen-year-old boys hit the track. The world finds out of lane number one, and he wants to pick up the whole shot into the turn. Bowen leads it out. Thomas threads it underneath. Larkins in the turn, and he's Bowen. Thomas Larkins in that order. Wilcox is in there in about five. He's behind. He wants Buffy into the turn, but the battle is out for Bowen. Oh, Bowen gets it all wrong. Has Thomas got enough for him into the final turn? Bowen just the man defending right out of the final corner. Clyde Bowen, he's gonna hang on to it by the looks of things. Yes, he is. Keep Thomas Ben Larkins in that order. Hey, what's good for you, Nick? The ball. Right, 16 year olds heading down the hill. Let's have a look. He's going to be the first to rise. For the rolls in the middle. Thomas Doran as well. Here comes Finley Hopfred in the needle. Copeland's got underneath. Oh, for the roll gets pushed high. So Doran out in one. Hop in there in two. Copeland in three. That looks like. Oh, Finfilins has gone right round the outside. He's in there in four. We're back then Copeland for a spot. Oh. In and out we go. James Hill to Davis. James Clitheroe. Right, Finn. Yeah. Right, 16 year old girls lead the game. Rosie O'Brien for Preston. Look at this right in the middle of the pack, heading towards turn number one. Picking up the whole shot. Oh, and they finished just diving underneath. Give me a derby headphones hit the deck. Annabelle Charlton came up, cleared that clear. Molly Simpson as well. Oh, Lily Phillips has dropped it.
flowing into the corner. That leaves it wide open now for Esme Brook. But Rosie O'Brien's getting in there as well. O'Brien, Brook, one and two. Is this going to be a first national win for Rosie O'Brien? Taking it to the line, taking the win. Esme puts two. Oh my word. Masters hit the track, he's looking busy down the hill. But look, Livingston's on the inside, here comes Daniel White, he triples into the turn. Elmo flashing with Bowman on the exit of the corner, it's White. Boom, boom on three and breast headed for turn number two. Ball right around the outside, he makes his stick. Ball, leads it out. Beaumont's getting busy, here comes Irwin. He's looking for a bit of help by bashing into a corner. Beaumont chasing down Ball. As he going in and out of the final turn. Ball, Beaumont, who's going to get it? Has Beaumont got enough lift in the tank? That one's going to be close. Irwin for a top three finish. Right, Savannah Carver and Annie Chazewell battling for the 50 quid. Who's going to get it into turn number one? Sab's going to pick up the whole shot. 50 quid richer. She's paying for the takeaway on the way home. She's in there, everyone. Annie Chazewell in two. Sab's going to lead it into that second corner. Here she comes down that third straight aboard that GT OS 20. You know I love an OS 20 bike, Savannah Carver in and out the turn. Looking like she's going to take the win, Annie Chuziwa in two. Sab gets it, Annie for the two. Sab wins 50 quid. Gary's already on the phone to the Chinese ordering his chowmen. It goes to our beds, hit the track, headed for turn number one. Martinez on the inside, looking like he might pick up the whole shot into the corner. Martinez leads it, here comes the two plate of salt and Mude, he's carving the corner. Looking to work his way in front of Barton Martinez, it's a turn two, Watson though. Looks at the inside himself and works his way from three to two, so it's Martinez. Watson, one and two, Pude going three and four. It is Zoltan, then Adam in and out of the final corner. Looking like Barnard's in five, Danny T's in six. Ben Martinez is going to wrap up that veteran though. Next on the ground veteran, A final, Gary Carver, Fitzroy Bryce. Fitzroy Bryce. <laughs> Grand veterans heading down the hill. Let's have a look. Hilly on the inside. Really right there behind him. Brett Archibald getting involved as well. Craig Nelson inside the top four. Julian Allen banging balls with Gary Carver. Here comes John Bentley as well. In there he's seven. Was he not in and out of the turn? Allen Hill. National win number 2,948,000. In and out of the final corner. He's going to get it. Reading for the two. Archibald for the three. Craig Nelson is going to pick up that four, but Hilly. Fox team, job done. 17 to 18 year olds are up on the gate. Seventeen to eighteen year olds hit the track as some on Saturday one, but George Gerard is shot out the pattern into the turn. As someone throws it underneath, it's getting busy. The neck and neck is Gerard. As someone see one, one, two, three, heading into turn number two. Jay Cadcock's in there at about four, receiving an elbow from Raymond Street, but he's half in with the hard knocks crew. Gerard leads it. As someone wants on the inside, didn't quite make it happen. He's now stuck in traffic. Gerard, as someone in that all the down to the shot, Smith looked like he nicked a top three finish on the line. The girls are go heading down the hill, Emily Green back to BMX after a layoff, good to see her on track. Ellie Feverston picking up the whole shot, the as you are in there in three, Megan Juhig in four, our kids. Caitlin Ellis in the in five, Megan Kirby in six, in and out we go. Ellie Featherston leading it into the turn. Looking like she's going to pick up another national win. Emily Green for the two. Lily Chiziwa for the three. And Megan Juhig rounded out works on four. The last of the whole shot classes for the day is lined up.
the 19, 29 year old Dara Go headed for the turn. Brad Shaw, Mavo UK, looking like he's going to pick up the uh, whole show. Oh, he's going to come on clips in and out of the turn. Brad Shaw, Mavo, they one and two at the moment. That looks like Sharp in there in three. Looking at the inside in turn number two, and he's made it happen. Underneath Mavo to his Brad Shaw. Here comes Hayden Green. He wants a piece of the top three pie. Brad Shaw, though, leads it out. Looking like he's going to pick up the ODI 100 quid. Down to the strike and another national win for the year. Bradshaw Sharp. Put your hands together for Callum Sharp Maple, ladies and gents. So I need to think I'm on the Here we go, the junior open heading down the hill, it's 12 points for this one, not sure how it sits, but I'm pretty sure that Jimmy Criddle won't be far from the front, he's in there in one, force it back there in the ball, oh! First he got a nudge, he checked Osito Cuz, and down he went, Criddle still picking up uh, the pieces, he's out front of the minute. More 14, two flying from Trelly Corton, three. Jared Hill's going to go for that second spot. Ned Penny takes to the skies. Oh my word. Championship women hit the track. Charlie's hit the gate heading towards turn number one. Looking like Harvey's had a great start. She's going to pick it up into the turn. Harvey, Charlie's one and two. That looks like Rendell Tony nearly three backs in four. Heading for turn number two. Who's going to get it? Is it going in the back out again? It's all about Sienna Harvey at the moment. Brenda Charlie's isn't done yet though. Has she got enough left? Heading for the final turn. Right around the outside doing it the hard way. Freya Charlie, she's going to pick up the win down the final straight. Here comes Elsa Rendell Todd, looking like she's going to nick a two spot on the line. Harvey goes through in three. The final, final of the day is the track. Is it all on the inside? He's got Marlon right there with him into the turn. Strickland's here as well. Is it all Strickland? Marlon, one, two, three, but they're queuing up next to Marlon. He's getting busy, there's elbows flying. He comes Bogle, round the outside, works his way from six to four. Is it all Strickland, Tanner, Bogle, one, two, three, four. In and out of that final corner, for your bicycles. Quillen, is it all one, six, four on the plate? He's going to take that national win. Ten for two. That one was busy on the line for three, four, and five. All right, boys, that wraps up your racing for today. Thank you for supporting the BC BMX National Series here in Manchester. Wherever you are heading to this evening, please have a safe journey. Get some good food down here. A couple of beers. We'll see you in the morning for more of the same. It's going to be a blazing day, quite literally on and off the track. So enjoy yourselves tonight. We will see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, it took a while to heat up, and when it did heat up, it got well hot. Semi-finals were a bit wild, and finals, as you've just seen, were some of the best we've had so far this season. So, you know, long may it continue. <laughs>